a carbon fiber frame and wheels for light weight and strength. Downforce aerodynamics to keep it on the road. 160 horsepower. This was a motorcycle 20 years ahead of its time and a work of art. New Zealand inventor and engineer John Britton had a dream to build the best racing motorcycle in the world. The Britton V1000 went on to win many races, but at the height of this success, John Britton dies of cancer at age 45. Today there are only 10 of these very special motorcycles remaining, and those are scattered across the globe. Until now. Nine of the 10 most treasured motorcycles in the world arrived at the Barber Vintage Motorsports Museum in Birmingham, Alabama. To get the nine Britons and the Streamliner and the family, that's a, that's a pretty cool thing to do. Two from New Zealand, one from South Africa, California, Texas, Michigan, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania. Well, we bought two from New Zealand, and of course the bikes are pretty highly valued and irreplaceable. So we got nine? We do. Wow. Yeah. That's the story. Yes, it is. Making history. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's been a long road to get has. here. A once-in-a-lifetime event. You'll, you'll never see nine of these bikes together again. The entire weekend was a dream come true to show them. I don't think anyone in our lifetime will have this opportunity to see these bikes again in this condition, in this environment. To celebrate them. That moment is the first time that all of them had been together like that. You know, it's a really special thing. And if possible, to run them on the track. This is the first time it's ran in at least 10 something years. Yeah, always good to be back on a Britain. It's like an old glove. at Barber.